It says Grant Hermans. I don't want to work. I don't. I met this guy before. I don't want to. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, Grant. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm good. Did you like that, that, that bit? That's a good bit. That's a good bit. I like it. <laughs> um, so I got to say Lost City was a lot of fun. Uh, I loved your character in it. Um, this is a script that's been sort of kicking around for quite a while now. When would really? You say you, yeah. Uh, I think I read it was about seven years uh, that it's been in the works. I mean, so when did you first get your hands on it? And what about it really sparked your interest? I didn't know it was kicking around for a uh, for a while but that happens in hollywood things you know get, they, they kick around for a while i i i the first i heard of it was from uh San, sandra sandra gave me a text and said do you want to be involved in this thing in the dominican republic i'm like yes and we read it and it was funny and the part's funny and it's like a uh work slash vacation because i took my wife and kid to the caribbean so we're like yeah we're totally in but this intrigues me that it's been kicking around for like 10 years or something. That's, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that happens. That happens in this town. People. Yeah. One of the things that I love about this movie is that it feels that it's very much uh, the comedy relies on the script as much as it does the, the performances. And so I'm curious, how much improvisation did you, uh, were you allotted to do with your character and how much of your humor came from the script? The script was funny, but the fellas, they allowed me to, to improvise here and there, but, but, you know, it was, we were, it's very, they, they have a, the directors had a very uh, strong uh, vision for what they wanted because there's a lot going on. It's a big movie with a lot of moving parts because it's not just a comedy, it's a action. So the action part with the boats and all and the chasing, that's a big deal logistically. So they have a lot on their plate. So they had a limited amount of time for the scenes, but within that, they, they let me play a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. So I what did would both. You say was, what would you say were some of your favorite moments that you got to improvise in the film? Oh, just when she's at the airport and I'm like, uh, I hear you like steaks, uh, that part. I did some, and I'm glad they went the way they went with the script, but they let me mess around and come in with different lines for that. I think the first line is uh, like, I like steaks too, or something like that. That's how, that's my in. And one time I'm like, uh, excuse me, I have access to fresh cows. And she's like, what? And I'm like, I couldn't help over here that you so you like steaks. Well, I have access to fresh cows. I'm just saying. And she's like, what? So even just to get that out of my system was fun. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys use it. They're like, no, it's funny, but we're, we're going to go with the script. <laughs> so I also got to say, I love the chemistry between you and Divine in this film. I think <clears throat> that really both of your characters just play off each other so well. What was that like for you to coming up with that rapport off camera before bringing it into each scene. It was a treat. She's a sweetheart and a pro. And I, you know, we're friends from Toronto. We were together a long time in Toronto. So we knew each other. And so we just were having fun. So one of the things that I especially love about your character is at the very end, he has that line where I believe it's Sandra calls him an angel. And, and he says, how do, how did you know? What, what was this is there a story behind that did you talk with the with the no, directors at we, all about what that was for they were just giving me lines to say it's a there she's just walking away and i'm saying anything and and sometimes i would improvise and sometimes the directors would say say this say this say this and that's the one they landed on they were all different little funny silly things but that's the one they landed on which was pretty absurd and you know, whatever, surreal. You can take it any way you want, but that's uh, the one they landed on. I was going to say, do you think your character is an angel? Because, I mean, he does pop up at just the right moments throughout the film. I think he flies a plane. Somehow he got a license a long time ago. Or does he have a license? And he hasn't been checked by a neurologist or a doctor in a long time. You know? <laughs> You know, sometimes people's driver's license should be taken away, but they don't go in to get checked out. So they keep driving the car. Well, this guy's flying a plane. Who's going to check on him? He's flying all over the place. We don't know his mental state. <laughs> 
it's he's he's a he's a wild card to say the least yeah. <laughs> um so I know you didn't get many scenes with him, but what was it also like working alongside Daniel Radcliffe? Because I love that little interaction you two have on the boat as he's like trying to escape. Yeah, we didn't get to work, you know, but we got to talk and hang out and my daughter met him. So that was cool. He was around the hotel. So those are the parts that you're like, hey, this is very cool. As far as work, like I said, it's a it's a fast moving machine, lots of moving parts. And it goes quickly because these guys are on a mission to get this big budget film in at a certain time. So when you're working, it's quick. And then, you know, we're moving on and we leave the time to play for Shannon and Sandra because they're carrying the whole thing. So they need that. They need the space at that time. So the little parts have to be concise. Well, even with the concise time that you had, uh, you and every other supporting player in this film did just as great as Sandra and Channing. Or better. with it. Say it, Grant, or better. Does it kill you? Better. To You're right. Or, or better. better. Or better. Brad Pitt might have outshined Sandra and Channing alone, let alone uh, competing with you guys. So, yes, or better. Uh, that was pretty funny. He was pretty funny. <laughs> that he was. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time, Oscar. I greatly appreciate it. I, Brad, I yeah, Brad was pretty funny. Thank you.